He's let us down by taking one of our best athletes and making him into a pussy. What did he say? Hey. Oh. Deontay Wilder is a fucking lion. Alex <laughs> Scott took a lion and converted it into a cat. 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 Nigga, you was a bitch! <laughs> If I tell you I'm good, probably you will say I'm boasting. But if I tell you I'm no good, you know one line. <laughs> Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Dr. PGNG, and praise God to get money back for another YouTube video. Banger, man. Yes, sir. Yes, man. I don't know what time it is. The doctor's in the house, man. So we got some news, man. Coming from Derek Chisora, man. He in there talking that shit. You know what I'm talking about? You know how Derek Chisora usually does. You know, Derek Ward Chisora. You know, and this time his target was Deontay Wilder. He said, hey, man, Deontay Wilder was a lion. Now he done turned to a little old putty cat. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> And you know, the combative fan in me wants to be like, hold on, Derek. You know, yes, Deontay Wilder's been looking bad lately. Look like he needs, he may need to retire. It came to that, you know, he came to that point in his career to where he might need to give it up just for his own safety and, and, and to keep his faculties attacked, you know. But I was like, hold on, he has four losses. His last loss being against Zayle Zhang, you know, somebody Derek Chisora has never fought. He'd probably lose to, you know. And his loss before that was to Joseph Parker, you know, and somebody that Derek Chisora lost to. Not once, but twice. Damn. I'm sorry. You know, when his other loss was two losses to Tyson Fury, you know what I'm saying? Somebody that Derek Chisora also lost to. Oh, but Deontay Wilder lost twice. Derek Chisora says, hold my beer. I'll lose to him three times, you know? So when you look at it like that, it's like, hold on, Derek Chisora, you can't really be talking. But then I was like, hold on. Let me relax and let me really see what he's saying. And what he's saying is that Deontay Wilder, you know, which is what he is what he actually said is that Deontay Wilder should not have lost to Joseph Parker and he should not have lost to Zayle Zang, which I agree. But he said that, you know, he only lost to him because he's being trained by Malik Scott and Malik Scott turned Deontay Wilder from a ferocious beast to a little tamed animal that you just pet you know what i'm saying <laughs> he, he shelled the beast is basically what he's saying i i mostly contribute Deontay's wilder's um a recent downfall to him just you know just being you know having a lot of fights 48 fights 48 odd fights almost 50 fights and you know being 38 years old or 39 they're going on 39 and you know some people just you know when, when time when father time comes knocking sometimes it's more abrupt than others you know and um, that's what i mostly could uh, contribute his his decline to however uh, like i said also i do have to Give some of the blame to Malik Scott because Derek Chisora is right. You know, since, since was it 2021 that <laughs> Malik Scott joined Deontay Wilder's camp? It has been terrible. Like his last, like he won, what, he went one and three in his last four fights. He lost to Tyson Fury in the trilogy. He lost to, um for, you know, for the last fight against Tyson Fury. He beat Robert Hellenius, but I think that Derek Chisora would also beat Robert Hellenius. And then he lost to Joseph Parker and he lost to Zayle Zhang. So that's terrible, you know what I'm saying? So it is something. And at the end of the day, no matter what you blame it on, age or, or, um, or a lack of not being with his former trainer. The fact that he has a new trainer, Malik Scott, or not new now, but you know, at the time, you, you could say that he did not help the situation at all. And that's what Derek Chisora is saying. So I have to agree with what he's saying, man. I don't think, you know, we got to, we, this is why we love Derek Ward Chisora, right? Because he speaks what's on his mind with no filter. But at the same time too, sometimes us being fans, we want to be combative, naturally combative. And sometimes we got to take a step back and listen to what he's saying. And what you, when you just decipher what he's saying and dig below the surface, I think he is a thousand percent correct that Malik Scott has not done anything positive in Deontay Wilder's career. And also, I think what's, what's indicative of that is the fact that like I dropped a video before, Malik Scott right now is trying to make a fight with Deontay Wilder against AJ. AJ will slaughter him because AJ lost to a better fighter in Daniel Dubois who could take a take advantage of anthony joshua's mistakes which he does make mistakes a lot which is why we were able to call that fight and we predicted that daniel dubois would win anthony joshua losing to dubois is not like wilder losing to uh, uh joseph parker or zang and what this is what also Derek chisora articulated as well he said man wilder doesn't even throw the right hand which is his signature move he doesn't even use his athleticism he's just sitting there like a punching bag so deontay wilder is losing while not looking like himself anthony joshua lost 
while looking like himself, there's a difference because Anthony Joshua's coming off a four fight win streak. You know what I'm saying? Deontay Wilder's almost coming off a four fight lose streak. You know, like I said, he was one and four in his last fight. I'm sorry, one and three in his last four fights. You know, and if you if you include, include the fifth one, you know, it gets a little shaky, baby. So yeah, man, I think Derek Chisora is right. So people that are knocking him for this take in particular, I don't think he's wrong or out of bounds at all. You know what I'm saying? And I, I, I just want to break that down for a little bit and highlight that I also share the same testament as, as Derek Chisora. Just that my delivery would have been a little different i'm saying that while deontay wilder is still a beast i just think sometimes a beast has to relinquish his his control over his domain and i think that right now deontay wilder in my opinion should make that transition to retirement but he's probably gonna fight on just like we see so many other great fighters before him and currently right now we just saw with danny garcia come out of sabbatical and get you know dropped for the first time and stopped for the first time by Arizona Lara. You know, probably just fighting too long, you know, Danny Garcia. And then we see Pacquiao still trying to come back, not looking great, looking like a shell of himself. We've seen it happen to Roy Jones, Mike Tyson about to come back and fight somebody 30 years his junior. You know, we, we see it all the time, man. We see it with uh, James Lights Out, Tony, and so many others before where we just see these greats come back past their prime. And Shane, Sugar Shane Mosley has a fight coming up. Man, so yeah, I just hope that these fighters uh, compete in a safe manner and we don't want to see these fighters get hurt in the ring at least i don't man and i think that deontay wilder is on he's at the precipice of becoming uh, uh one of those fighters that we see get seriously hurt just because he wouldn't hang him up in time but yeah y'all let me know what y'all think about that let me know what you think about Derek chisora's comments is he out of bounds inbounds is he right and correct what you think man i think he's correct man and i think malik scott didn't do anything positive for deontay wilder's career so i appreciate y'all rock with me as always remember with god we can do anything without god we're nothing the doctor's out peace from the hood to college, both worlds they had to meet Six degrees between us, so cold we're about to freeze But we're Florida boys, hot takes, we bring the heat We're moving the culture, the engineers to the streets